Dear investors, I hope you, your family and friends are safe and doing well. In this video, I'll be providing update on recent notification by SEBI to mutual fund industry to stop subscription in schemes which are investing in overseas securities and the subsequent action taken by Mirai Asset Mutual Fund to adhere to this notification. To give you a background, as per the current regulatory limit, mutual fund industry in aggregate can only make overseas investments up to $7 billion. Further, additionally, mutual funds can make investment in overseas exchange traded fund within the overall industry limit of $1 billion. As on January 28, 2022, the overall industry limit of $7 billion was on the verge of breach, as a result of which SEBI requested all AMCs to stop subscription and schemes intending to invest in overseas securities with immediate effect. The fund of fund investing in overseas ETF, which are managed outside India, are exempted. Further, Amphi provided guidance on 30th January to close subscription in all schemes investing in overseas securities. In light of this, we have closed the fresh subscription either in lump sum manner or through fresh SIPs, STPs, switch-ins and have also paused existing SIPs and STPs in our overseas schemes from 2nd Feb 2022 onwards. We have paused all SIPs and STPs because our fund of fund invest in the underlying ETF with an intention to track the performance of the index. Cash flow through SIPs and STPs will increase the cash component of the scheme because we won't be able to deploy the money in the ETFs because of which the fund of fund will not be able to track the ETF and hence the index performance in the rightful manner. The affected schemes are Mira Asset NYSE FANG Plus ETF, Mira Asset NYSE FANG Plus ETF Fund of Fund, Mira Asset Hang Seng Tech ETF, Mira Asset Hang Seng Tech ETF Fund of Fund, Mira Asset SP 500 Top 50 ETF, and Mira Asset SP 500 Top 50 ETF Fund of Fund. This suspension is temporary in nature and will continue only till further enhancement of the limit by SEBI and RBI in this regard. Your existing investments will continue to be deployed as per the investment objective of the scheme. The scheme will continue to reflect the performance of the underlying portfolio and now will continue to be declared on each working day of the scheme. This suspension is not applicable on redemption, switch out, SWP applications received by Mira Asset Mutual Fund from any investor. Hence, an investor can redeem, switch out, withdraw from these schemes at any time. The ETF units will continue to remain listed on the exchange and investor can trade in such units on the stock exchange. We would suggest that investor check the transaction price at which orders are or will get executed on the exchange. The better practice would be to purchase or sell ETF units using the limit order. As soon as the RBI revises the overseas limit and SEBI lifts the temporary suspension, the aforementioned schemes will be opened for subscription again. All existing SIPs and STPs will auto resume if the validity of the investment is in order. Thank you for watching this video. In case if you need any further clarification, please reach out to Mirai Asset Mutual Fund team. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read old scheme-related documents carefully.